Hi, I'm over to All Seeing Camera. We're back to the channel with another one. If you guys watched the first part of this video, you're here to continue our unboxing. I had to stop midway because I wanted to see how that F Adidas jersey fit. If you haven't seen part one, go, go check out the Yeezy F Adidas jersey unboxing. We just did that video. Let me know down below your thoughts about that piece. This one here is a hoodie. This one's not going to be as complex, as cool, as much screen print, or that much messaging behind it. But I wanted to do this one for those out there that ordered this piece and also wanted to know how the Yeezy hoodies are fitting. Again, 20 dollars is crazy for a hoodie i remember yeezy dropped the blank with gaps with the blank with gap and i didn't even get a hoodie and i regretted that so much so now the fact you can get blank yeezy hoodies now if i'm hoping a similar cut that crop with the wide arms and stuff like that like a little lower you know, that, you know that arm fat the obese arm fat you know that arm fat that people have in real life i like that in my hoodies though sometimes i like that in my hoodies and i like how yay had that look with the gap ones let's hope that these fit similar and it's for a fraction of that price subscribe to the channel like the video we're on the road to ten thousand subscribers if you know this channel you know we try on pieces not only do we try on pieces we zoom up and show you guys all the details all the tags so your piece can fit as well i don't really see the need of having to buy a rep yo you people that buy a reps already annoy me enough to buy a rep yeezy that's already a 20 dollars piece i don't even know if the streets are making that come on brother brother please that's actually a good thing i never thought about that selling your pieces for 20 can probably knock down a lot of counterfeits like it's not even worth the effort what are you gonna sell the t for 15 10 at that point why don't you just buy the real one for five dollars more would never understand subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below let's get to this we did a size two in the black yeezy hoodie size two we did size two in everything we did size two in the vultures t-shirt you guys saw earlier the vultures t-shirt you guys saw from the listening party i went to in december you guys saw the f adidas jersey in a size two we saw the listening party in california as well we did not get any merch because he was selling everything from the website and i'm like brother i already ordered everything there all the t-shirts there i ordered he had the number two on instead of the one in the back so i'm like if they had the two shirt i would have bought it they didn't even have that for sale he just had an exclusive one like brother how you gonna wear the two but still sell us the one hold on I so from that show we did not get any merch we're getting pieces to start shipping and coming in which is great news also another great news is look how wide that sleeve is that's that arm fat right there i'm talking about look it also came with like red yarn on it. i don't know where that's from okay all right all right but if you can see right there that under fat from that arm is what i'm talking about that little flap those mothers that cook amazing in the kitchen you know they got that little flapper in the bottom of the arm i love that in the hoodie you can kind of tell the cut right there on the shape not all hoodies but something about that yeezy crop hoodie i do like thought i was getting like a factory smell maybe it's just my head being bougie because i paid 20 dollars for it but this is it has a lot of yarn on it too you might have to lint roll yours when you're done i got red yarn on mine yellow yarn on mine what else we got white yarn on mine we got more yellow yarn on mine are we good we good the big Bird and Elmo used this shit as a bed before y'all sent it to me. What's going on? As you guys, you can also see right here the hood. It's not the heaviest, thickest hoodie, which is not a bad thing. Again, you're paying twenty dollars. Not only are you paying twenty dollars, it's about to be summertime. Being summer in Miami, them nights you can kind of get away with a hoodie. You don't want the thickest hoodie. You don't want a sixteen ounce hoodie. Nothing too too crazy. But it's not the heaviest hoodie. It's not super thin. It's not a super thin hoodie. It's cool. It's nice. It's calm. It's it's a cool hoodie. What I like about it more than anything is the cuts. You guys know how I tell you I've been loving my hoodies. These are the blanks that I need. I might just use Yeezy hoodies as my blanks. Let me know down below how you feel about that. We start using Yeezy supply hoodies as our blanks for our personal merch. How do you guys feel about that? You like that? Would you not like that? Obviously not the cuts, but the t-shirts. One, they become a screen print on it. Two, they're a little tricky on the one cloth, the one cloth material cut into them. It's a lot going on. I know that looks not for everyone, so I wouldn't want to use their tees, but their hoodies. Like, what do you think about you owning not only a Yeezy supply hoodie, but for our personal merch? I've been thinking about that. No cross pockets, so no kangaroo pouch right in the front of the hoodie. That's one thing I know notice but we have to do a lot of different things to cut costs so that won't be on there which might again if you're printing on it is not always a bad thing you can do a cool big graphic print going right across it and that really wouldn't interfere with the stitching going around for that kangaroo pocket in the front that not being there will help out for printing we also see the hoodie what do i tell you guys about my hoodies that i've been loving i don't like hoodie strings no more i haven't liked hoodie strings in at least the last two years so this continuing that look and only for 20 seeing that cut that i love with that overlap right under the bottom of the neck of the hoodie just to keep that closure because again you don't have strings to make it tighter i love this hoodie now when i get hoodies with strings it irritates me looking at them like damn damn it just feels so outdated i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like with time today's hoodies look a lot better with that oversized look without those strings being in the without the strings in the hoodie and being a little cropped up a little wider it just makes it look a little bit more expensive a lot of brands are doing it we're seeing a lot of the major streetwear brands doing it it's just in with today's look the hoodie right here is stitched there's no stitching right on the bottom flap of the hoodie, which that's also really dope. I love that continuation look. It looks like it was just stitched right on just at the neck right there. No, no other stitching inside other than the back of the hoodie, right? Other than the back of the hoodie right there. Kind of lot of you. This looks 
really, really good from what I thought. You can see this looks really good from what I expected for $20. I'm not going to lie. There's no easy call out. The F Adidas jersey also did not have a tag printed on the neck or anything. It did have a tag somewhere near the lower waist and it was a size 2. Let's see if this one is the same. Is there any tags inside? We haven't seen no Yeezy tags at all. And I'm assuming that it is to save costs. For $20, he still has to make some profit margin. And that's why he's cutting costs anywhere he can. Gabe was never really the biggest with doing brand call outs, even when he was with Adidas. If you think about any of the Yeezy sneakers, none of them really say Yeezy going across them that I can even think of. And he lets the silhouette speak for itself, which is dope. I love that. And then that shows you if you really like the piece or you're there for the or you're there for the brand. Because a lot of people are buying, you know, we see spider hoodies all the time. They don't even like the we see the cotton reef they don't even know the story behind them tis what the brand is representing or why they're wearing that cotton reef across their chest in 100 places they've just been seeing everybody like power rangers and they want to jump into it so something like this where there's no print on it as at all gotta like the brand or you gotta like the message behind it or you gotta like easy some something's drawing you to this it can't just be that it's a 20 dollars but this is the bottom cut of it what i was trying to tell you you can see better from the inside the little scrunched up the little scrunched up crop look fire fire you gotta just wear it with the right fit definitely dope i love that and yeah it looks like these were made in the same factory this is what we saw in the Yeezy jersey which also was really comfortable to cotton this is a size two which i'm kind of nervous now like should i have got threes i don't know i don't know i kind of want to order this hoodie again but we'll see how it fits but i kind of wanted it's a black hoodie you never have enough i kind of want to order it again or if i order like the or if i order like the black dogs hoodie and either black or gray i think i'm gonna do that one in three just to compare and contrast see which one we like more again i'm six two we've been seeing trevor he's giving me anxiety on the F Adidas jersey, he's 6'4", wearing a size 3. And once again, he's 6'4", wearing a size 3 on this hoodie. I'm not 6'3", he's 2 inches bigger than me, so that could make the difference. I just hope the sleeves are not too short. But right there, we see the size 2. I'll show you guys better during the zoom up at the end. And then inside, you see Made in USA, which is amazing to see for the price point. I was already assuming that this was Chinese factory. I believe the pods are now. But it looks like the pieces, the clothes are still being made here. I'm assuming Los Angeles, we did see the factory break in. So I'm shocked. And you can feel how good the cotton feels on this. Like, I'm gonna rub this under my neck. I don't wanna do it with the other one, but no. This feels good. Like, it feels real cozy and stuff. I would pay 20 just to, I'm probably gonna get like four more of these. Get one just to wear around the house. You know you always need that hoodie to just wear around the house, but you never wanna wear your drip. For $20, bro, I'm gonna buy two of these. One will be in my closet and one will be in my pajama my pajama drawer for me to wear on the crib for me to walk my dog like this really feels that good let's just hope it fits good before we try it on let's see if we can find any more information on the website about it all right it's actually the first piece as soon as you go on yeezy.com it is the first piece right there yeezy black hoodie 20 dollar retail you can get in a size one two and three size one small medium size two large extra large why i keep getting a two because I either wear a large or an extra large. So let's hope that it fits like the description. And then a 3 is an XL to 2XL. Is why I've been so scared to buy a 3. I'm like, ah, ah, I don't really know. That might be a little too oversized. Trevor is 6'4", 170 pounds, and he is wearing a 3. You guys can see how Trevor looks right there. The only thing I'm scared about this one is as the crop waist is like, is it long enough? But it looks like it's right at Trevor's waist, the size 3 or a little bit above it. It actually looks even a little bit above it. He's 6'4". That's a six. That's a size three. That's what I'm a little worried. Like, let's see how this one fits. Let me know if you guys bought this. Have anyone went? Have anybody bought this? I'll show you guys some images of Kanye wearing the hoodie. Kanye has been doing really good wearing a lot of the pieces that are on the website right now for sale. He's his, his, he's part of the marketing dollars. I'm assuming he already knows that. So that's why he's doing as much as he can to wear all these pieces, resell them. Just wanted to compare to how much the Yeezy Gap black hoodie is going. The Yeezy Gap black hoodie looks very similar. The, yeah, even the cuffs look similar. I was gonna say the cuffs are different, but the cuffs look similar. The main difference I noticed when I'm looking at it is only one thing, and it's that kangaroo pouch. That pouch right over the stomach, that pocket you had to put your hands inside this one does not have it the gap ones had it but the retail for the gaps were 90 and they're selling right now the blacks the last sale was 130 and it looks like they're still selling because i'm looking at a large let's check the large art my size 186 last sale bro there's 15 left only and the red is still selling the light brown is still selling blue brown purple I could have went crazy and caught the whole bunch and flipped these really good. So they're not really nothing crazy, but at least for double the price. But we get a similar, similar hoodie. If I can only say, even the hood looks different. I'm assuming it's heavier and it's thicker for the price you're paying. It says double layered. I think this one's only single layered, but you're paying 90 there or resale of almost $200 where you can get the hoodie right now for 20. And I feel like if there's a time that you're not gonna wear the thickest hoodie, during the summertime. Not really too much more information on this. You know, his website keeps everything really blank. You don't really go too much into detail. Just buy, buy. 
They look like they're saving every single budget just for the clothes themselves. Let me know down below. Did you buy this? Have you got your order? Are you still one of the ones waiting for your order to come in? Let's try this on. Any questions you might have that I can answer, let me know. I'm going to do the zoom up details. Not really much for me to show in here, but I'll do the best that I can. Other than I got a whole bunch of random yarn on it that I got a lint roll out of. Let me know down below your thoughts. Did you order? Did you not order? Have you bought anything from the Easy Supply? We've already done three orders and this one actually came super quick. I ordered this one three weeks ago and we already got it. Two to three weeks, it actually, two to three weeks, it actually falls in timing of the website. But my other two orders, I ordered them on the Super Bowl day, early morning. Like, literally, I went on, before his commercial, before all that, before the game, it was like I was running my dog in the morning. I went on literally the day of the Super Bowl and I wanted the Vultures t-shirt. I can look at it like, I don't want to pay 130 oh my god. Something told me. And I said, man, I'm going to go run with my dog and then I'll see what's good. Ran with my dog. My girl was cleaning off her shoes because we weren't running on the beach. I was just on my phone. I literally refreshed my phone, go back on Yeezy Supply. It was like probably like 6 o'clock, not even, probably like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. I see that everything's 20 and I had like an, an, an asthma attack. I was going crazy in the car. So I did a one order quick. I didn't know if it was timed or for how long or it was a glitch. I don't know what was going on. I went, ordered like at least five to six items, but I added Easy Pods. Never received that order still. It's already been uh, two months, but I totally understand everything that's going on. He's doing this by himself. Not only is he doing this by himself, this is the first major batch of orders. I think it'll get better over time for logistics and his team. Then we ordered another order because I was scared they were going to take everything off. We ordered another pair of Yeezy Pods and we ordered, I can't even tell you, I can't even tell you how many t-shirts. I want to say we ordered everything else that was there except the white because we already have the white Vulture shirt. If you haven't seen that unboxing on this channel, go check out that video. It did amazing. We haven't got that order either. The F Adidas jersey and the black hoodie was ordered three weeks ago with no pods. I was scared to add pods anymore to them because I kept saying every order I get, I'm going to add pods. Now I didn't even want to add pods. So they start shipping better, we'll start ordering more. But it came in. It came in. What do you guys think? This one actually came in super quick. The cut of it looks cool. I want to try it on. Any questions, let me know down below. Subscribe to the channel. We're on that way to 10,000 subscribers. We will do another giveaway when we get to that 10,000. Not sure if we'll do just a whole bunch of items from the Yeezy Supply. Let someone pick. Do like $100 from a Supreme drop. Do like two Supreme tees when they do like the summer tees. We'll decide whenever we hit that 10,000. Sub up, sub up, sub up. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're on that road to 10,000. Let's go try this on. I usually don't talk in these unboxings. I usually don't. But since it's such a unique item and there wasn't that much on the website to describe. I kind of wanted to talk to you guys through this, but this was the flap I was telling you guys about. That good old Batalito mother maker right there. You see that little flap? That's what I was speaking about. And it had happy about that. You guys can see the crop look going right around. It was due to the scrunch. You could pull it down if you want a bit and wear it straight down if you like. But you know, I do like that little look on the yay ones. I obviously won't be wearing these shorts when I wear this hoodie. But for $20, you know how great this hoodie feels? I'm wearing no t shirt on the bottom either. I never really wear teeth under my hoodies. But wow, this feels amazing. I was telling you guys I didn't want to wear it because it wasn't wrapped until I washed it first. Leave the condom over there where it's at, brother. It's fine that it wasn't wrapped. It's fine that it wasn't wrapped. Oh, this feels great. This feels amazing. I love on how comfortable this feels. Yeah, I'm definitely ordering, like I told you guys, a couple more. Like I want this to walk my dog. I want one for pajamas and then I want one that I'm going to wear outside to drip. That's how much I like this piece. I'm probably going to do two more. Maybe one more black or I probably just do the black dogs one so we can see that in person and do the gray one as well. Damn, this feels nice. I really, really like this. I really, really like this. Let's hope that we get other blanks. Let's hope we get other blanks. My biggest thing that's going through my head right now is like, I might just use the Yeezy blanks for my personal merch. I'm not even lying to you. I might use the hoodie blanks. I love the fit. I like the hood. Only thing that I wasn't the biggest, biggest fan of is putting it on. The collar's pretty tight. Like, look, the sleeves fit me perfect. I don't know how good you can see my hands, but look, this is what I was worried about. I don't want the hoodie stopping over here, or over here, or something crazy. It's perfect. I even got more space. If you're a little bit taller than me, 6'3", you can still pull it, pause. You can still keep extending that. Got the nice little fat, oversized look to the arms. Got the crop look that I was looking for everything is great only thing only thing is the collar to the hood is pretty tight like whoever stitched this right here you know the stitching that goes across right there where they stitch the hoodie on going across your neck lining and everything i'll show you guys this view as well just so you can see it but i feel like it's pretty tight like putting it on you feel going through that which that was rare to me i feel like i've never felt that before putting on a hoodie usually like this look too without the strings i'm used to seeing the hoodie a little bit wider some people like that some people don't for those that don't you might like this for my revenge hoodie with the kill hand in the back that we did for the uh pop-up event with Revenge. I loved how big that hood is, like how big and wide it is. Someone commented and said they ordered the piece because they saw it. Someone who commented that they ordered the piece, they came back a couple weeks later and they received it. Said everything was fire, they liked it, they're happy they got it. Only thing they didn't know was how big the hood was. I guess they didn't look that big on me. So they got it, they thought the hood looked a little bit too big on them. 
So they were gonna take it to like, they were gonna take it, I believe, to a tailor or something to make the hood smaller. I personally like that oversized hood. This is the hood to this one on. I just feel like it got me like choked up or something. I don't know. I just don't like it. Still fits, like you know, you still got this, you still got extra space, everything. Oh, it's cool, but I just feel like this is too tight right here. Like this piece, it's not about it. I want, I like it like probably like out here, start cuffing. A little bit deeper, probably like right here, so you don't look, it don't look like it's pulling up with your neck. But again, nothing too, too picky. It's a $20 t-shirt, it's a $20 hoodie. Let me know your thoughts down below. I think the next one we do, we are gonna size, try to size three just to see the difference and see which one we personally like more. But yeah, I like this piece a lot. I like this piece a lot. What do you guys think? Are you a fan or you're not a fan? Have you ordered this? Are you still waiting on it? Or did you already receive it? Did it fit you? Did it not? We did a size two. I would say it fit true to size. I'm not gonna lie. It fit exactly like I thought. It fit exactly like I thought the large and extra large should fit. Did you guys order it? Did you have luck like me? And you like the size fitting on it? Your wrist, everything looks good. You can put your arms up. Everything's good. Open your arms out wide. Open your arms out wide. Do things like this. I've been doing all this stuff to see. Cause you know, when we all know when you do this and a hoodie small, boom. And you're like, damn. Still keeps the still keeps the size, still keeps the look to it, and you can get momentum and movement through your arm. Let me know down below your thoughts. Did you have luck? Did you not? Subscribe to the channel on that road to 10,000 subscribers. And like I love to say, to the next one. We out of here.